Hi my lovely bumblebees, it's Ethany. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm sharing with you my travel essentials for my witchcraft practice. These are all items that are an absolute must when it comes to me traveling anywhere. So the very first thing that I am obsessed with is my, st my stationary habits. So I have, I mean girl, I bought this entire pencil case. It's so pretty. Full of pens. Feel that? Oh yeah, ASMR. It's got pens, pencils, highlighters, or the whole jazz in there, but I've got some pens out and this beautiful notebook. Now I always take a notebook and pen with me everywhere. I know I'm a lot like a lot of people, so I will take my planner as well. And I definitely have notebooks and binders that are for special things. For example, if I'm going to a tarot conference, I have a notebook that is dedicated to taking notes at all my tarot conferences. Yes, I'm that nerdy. Even in my daily backpack, I have a pen and a little notebook. The next thing is my altar cloth. So I have quite a number of altar cloths, but I like to take one with me because if I'm going to be in an Airbnb or a hotel, I can make sure that everything is kept in one area. And if I want to fold it up, and have everything protected while I'm out so that like, so cleaning or whatever doesn't come in and play around with it. I can simply roll everything up and place it away easily. My next travel essential you've all heard me talk about a million times before, which is my smudge off or a spray from EO Chakra products. I actually cannot live without this in my life. I use it every night before bed and I take it with me everywhere when I travel. I will, <laughs> I will use this in the rooms I'm sleeping in and I'll also give it to people that I'm traveling with so that everyone can feel lovely and orically cleansed. This is like legitimately amazing. Also, it's really great because if you can't burn things in a hotel, etc., you're not setting any alarms off. So it's also safe in that respect. I have some crystal essentials and I always put them in their own little pouch. I've got lots of little pouches and my travel essentials are black tourmaline, smoky quartz, and moonstone. So these three stones are really important. Oh, they just feel so nice in my hands. Black tourmaline and smoky quartz are both protective stones and they're fantastic to have with you at all times. I often, I often, I often. I also often have some hematite in my pockets so that I stay grounded, but these two are also grounding stones. And the moonstone is to help me sleep better and to ward off nightmares. Now I would have these right near my sleeping space when I am going to bed, especially in hotels, because a lot of hotels are haunted and I hate sleeping in them because it's chattery and I feel things and see things. And it's like, I didn't come here to have a chat, dead person in the corner sitting in that creepy chair that they always have in every hotel room. I just want to go to sleep. So having these and this and protecting myself is a way to tell them basically to bugger off. But they're also wonderful travel protective stones. Honestly, every, I hate hotels. You know, haunted as shit. Hotels and hospitals, never mind cemeteries. Cemeteries are not where it's at. If you're ghost hunting, cemeteries is not where it's at. Hospitals and hotels, haunted as the next travel essential should be absolutely no brainer when it comes to me. It's a tarot deck or seven. I at least take one tarot deck with me everywhere that I go when I'm traveling for my daily draws and also to do readings for people that I'm traveling with. It is very rare that you see me without a deck and I've often talked about the little decks that you can get in tins as well, but I'm happy to throw most of my decks in my bag and off I go. These always go in my carry-on though when I'm flying. So my next items that I take with me when I'm traveling are tokens. Now I do have a small traveling altar that I've made, although it's not very good, so I don't take it with me. But what I love about tokens is that they're flat and light. So I'm not having to worry about a lot of space in my area. So these ones were made by Jamie from Blind Luck Co, who also does a pocket of peers and lots of other tarot and Lenormand goodies, the Soy's Path. Uh, so I love these because they are light and you have every single element represented and you can put them in your quarters for your altar. I also have these beautiful woodcut ones that I got from the Raven's Wing, which is in Portland. And these two, a hamsa and a pentacle, which are protective in nature that I got from a store in Vancouver. So all of these are light, portable, and you can put, pop them in a pouch and not worry about them getting chipped or damaged. The next thing I take with me is a krill, a krill, a krill, krill, krill. 
I take krill so I can eat it in the sandwich because I'm a woman. The next thing I take with me is a clear crystal point. So I use this to either place on top of my tarot deck to charge it or use it as a wand to direct energy away. This is always just a wonderful stone to help me also get rid of excess energy if I've taken in too much, especially if I'm in a social environment because I'm extremely extroverted. It's a wonderful all round crystal to have in your travel area. I have an electric tea light. Now I love these because again, I'm not having to worry about burning down any places that I'm staying. It also has a lovely little flicker and it's so easy to take with you. They last forever and honestly, it's just safer. So I always take an electronic. <laughs> So I always take a little tea light with me that is electric. Of course, I have everything in pouches. I use this wonderful Wonder Woman one to fold everything up and put it into. And it's a really easy way to make sure you're carrying everything in one area. So those are my travel essentials for the modern witch. I would love to hear what you take with you when you go on the road or when you're away from home. And I'll see you all next time.